gonna bail you out. You know who's gonna come and rescue you? You know who's gonna come and save the day? No one. Nobody's gonna lift the weights for you. Nobody's gonna do the pull-ups for you. Nobody's gonna go out and put in the road work for you. You gotta do all that yourself. Now I know in the morning, got that blanket, giving you a warm hug. And you got the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay. Telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. People ask me what I do when I get those little feelings running around. Well, let me tell you what I don't do. I don't tell everybody. As a matter of fact, I don't even let those words run around inside my own brain housing group. I keep it secure, lock it down. It's actually not that complicated. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to eat the donut? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. Make the binary code decision, yes or no. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Don't really want to work out? I work out. Don't really want to hammer on a project? I hammer on a project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed? I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the projects. Get out of bed. And by going through the motions, you overcame that weakness. The desire to take the path of least resistance. The downhill path. The downward path. You stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path. Commit yourself to 15 years. Commit yourself to 20 years. Don't try to look at it as a one-year thing or two-year thing. That's where most people f*** up. It takes real f***ing time and real commitment. It takes a conscious effort to be more valuable, to be better than the next guy every single day. Focus down, lock down, commit to something for 10 f***ing years to be great at it. And guess what? Wherever you are in 10 years, it's going to be a hell of a lot better than where you are now. There is no easy way, and only motherfuckers that win long term are the ones that are willing to do the sh** that they know they need to do when they don't feel like f***ing doing it. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Or are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. There are no shortcuts, there are no hacks. If you want to take the easy road, I promise you, it's longer and more painful than the hard road. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your mother. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. In 10 years from now, nobody can do anything for you. That's going to be the life that you created, not anybody else. You make your bed, you got to lay in it. Let other people blame their parents, their boss, or the system. Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. It's learning to discipline this mind. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. 
I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do this. Or I'll let me like two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that with me. For decades, I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Instead of letting your goals and your tasks and your health and your discipline waver, rise up and aggressively move forward down the path toward victory. You have no business being average, but now you justified it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you, if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. But I have not exhausted all my time. I have not exhausted all my resources. There's something missing. You're not where you're supposed to be. It's not going to take a lot, but it's a small gap. And the gap is called execution. If you were to execute just a little bit more, you'll be on a whole level. And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially. You are not the person you want to be. And you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier. And my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living. Every day in Africa, in the safari, a lion wakes up. And every single day in the safari, a gazelle wakes up.